So we're at Nassau in the Bahamas where uh, James Bond Thunderball was filmed, one of the greatest movies ever made. I watch it a couple of times a year and there's some great flight sequences in it. And we're just basically going to fly around uh, this, well, what looks like a relatively small island of um, the Bahamas. That's the plan. It's a beautiful day. Let's go and do it. Okay. I can break off. Right rudder as we get to about forty knots. We've been, been practicing this. It doesn't mean it's going to go well, but now it gets very tricky. Today, not too bad. Rotate. We're up. Gear up. That would be my best takeoff yet. Flaps up. And that would be because practice. Spend a couple of hours in external view actually sitting right behind the tailpipe just doing touch and goes at Canberra so I could see what the rudders were doing and which way the aircraft was pulling etc anyway enough of that look at this amazing tropical paradise Mike India Golf 1 look at the water wow let's give you full screen uh, Zoom at that, that's awesome. Lots of sharks down there, of course. We saw them in the James Bond movie. And I wonder if that Vulcan bomber is still um, located. There's a job for third party scenery people to, to put that Vulcan bomber in, in here under the water so we can fly over and look at it. It's gorgeous. Let's get down a bit lower. Look at the coral reefs under the water. Wow. That's gorgeous. That is great. And there's a whole island, really, in one, um, one look. Quite flat. Very lush, interesting looking. Some must be a resort in there, I'd say. Could be, some, could be a golf course. Yeah, could be a tropical golf course. Marina down there. Look at the colour of the water. Unbelievable. Once again, a very short flight, so let's expedite. Like a man made harbour there. Awesome. Yeah, the colours are just spectacular. Also getting spectacular frame rates, 45 plus now. Um, using a guide I found on the Microsoft Flight Simulator forum. Link, links are on my website. You'll find them below the video. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Look at that.
Well, in terms of navigation, this is a pretty simple flight. You just take off, turn left, keep flowing ashore to get back to where you started 10 minutes later. Yeah, that's how I like them, nice and easy. Having got lost in Europe and Asia and all other kinds of places in the last few flights. This one, hard to get lost. Wow, just like a documentary. Okay, let's get a bit lower as we come back around the island. Obviously a tropical resort there. That's very exciting. Wow. Yeah, somebody said the other day uh, on a video they want, uh, oh, they're talking about a third party airport, they, they want a car so they can drive around the airport and just look at things. Well, yeah, I, um, I second that. Give us some uh, dune buggies and um, similar vehicles because you could spend days driving around this, just chilling out, checking it out. Unbelievable. So it looks like a um, some sort of atoll off to the right. Let's pull up my map. And yep, yep, sure is. So we're about halfway around at this point. Let's just check that out on the map. There we are, just coming around the eastern edge of it. And uh, you know. Don't text while driving, that was the moral of that new miss. I've been doing a lot of tweaking of the uh, rudders and a bit of the controls to feel just so natural now. And even found some videos showing the start sequence and spent, I don't know, probably heaps of hours. Uh, reconfiguring my uh, cockpit panels, which you can see um, down here. Got main instruments, radio. I've now got my Elgato Stream Deck working properly as an autopilot control. Primary slide instruments, uh, nav info up here, and engine and fuel stuff down there. So it's not anywhere near strictly like this aircraft is but it's a close it's good enough for me to have fun with kind of a pseudo military trainer style you might say so that's kind of what I'm looking at in reverse except what I actually see is more like that okay so um, where's this airport let's pull that map up got a button map to that now yeah, we're getting close enough to make the call. Let's do it. Channel 2. Oh, she's nine airports here. Channel 1. Mike India Golf 4. And that is just about uh, runway 28. Is where? Oh, slightly off to the left, I think. Mike India Golf 1. Mike India Golf 1. So I think. 2-4 now 
he did say fly left base so okay. well wow, look at the colors in there super super gorgeous where is runway 28 are we looking at the road airport um, maybe not it, uh, it looks like a big airport okay that's runway 28 I can see it now I can see it now the end of it is framed in the canopy okay just a, a darker color than the other runway okay dog so let's get down there check for traffic we're just dawdling along 200 knots looking great The altitude, uh, 1300, not too bad. I think we'll fly across to the end of this um, blue lagoon. I wonder if it's where Brooke Shields made that movie back in the day. Across to the, the blue lagoon and turn four final, I think. Yep, and we're getting slow enough, 170. Let's put the gear down. and flaps now the flaps I've sorted out this aircraft doesn't support incremental lowering of flaps it seems so you have to put them down and then back up one notch and that should yep that gives us half flaps okay we've got it Well, they probably want full flaps for landing here, yeah. but I was taking off with too much on the flaps. Anyway, I'm going to land with half flaps. Wow, look at that. Trim up. Got three greens. Yep. There we go, get the trim right. Wow, look at look at the um, just gorgeous. Oh my god, the colours. Anyone trying to land an aircraft, but wow. This is exciting just to be here. Three greens, yes. I'm going to pop the speed brake momentarily. We're just a little bit hot and a bit high, a couple hundred feet. Lose the speed brake. Bit of a flare. I think it'll be alright. And now I'll watch the rudders. Need quite a bit of right rudder there to hold it straight. Put the nose down. And we're going to start tapping the tow brakes. 60 knots. I think we're good. 30 knots. Yeah. We made it. So a little bit of practice pays off. It seems. Where's the, where's the taxiway? 
think it's up there on the right. Yeah, you see the blue lights. Look at the great uh, tropical foliage. Just a bit of right toe brake, pulls us around, and right rudder. Uh, is it taxiway? No. Before the yellow line, I think. Okay. Well, I shan't taxi all the way back. I'll just keep it brief, but. Um, Mike India Golf One. Uh, it's actually quite fitting, and notice um, at the site of um, James Bond Thunderball what my um, tail number is. Double O seven.